Welcome back, guys, to an another episode, sort of, kind of. Uh, this is just going to be in the title screen uh, of Minecraft, because I, I, it's sort of bad news, I guess. I, so, I guess I, this is basically just going to be a talking head real fast. I, I just wanted to outline some stuff of what's going on and why I haven't had a Simple Craft video in a long while. Uh, so... Sit back and relax and enjoy story time with Risky, I guess. Uh, so it all starts when I was setting up for another video. Uh, I was like intermittent AFK and going back and forth between uh, other games with some other friends. And this, I, in Minecraft, uh, I had already recorded a good chunk of uh, video and was getting ready to, at some point in the near future of when this all happened I uh, was gonna re record the last little bits of of the of the episode and get that ready to go and edit it and all that and get it up on the channel and then th probably one of the worst things that that's happened that's caused one of the biggest fights in, in any of my friend or friends groups and it's been kind of just really annoying because like I see it one way and everybody else sees it another and I'm just like I don't know what to think about it because I don't know what you guys would have enjoyed versus what kind of content I was really looking to get out of Simple Craft. Uh, basically what had happened was I was AFK in my non-existent base because we all know I don't have a house. Uh, I was mostly building up farms and, and trying to set up for for getting ready to build the the base that I was going to live in for the for the rest of the season. I uh, and I was sitting AFK, I was playing Balloon Tower Defense with uh Kata and uh some other some other IRL friends of ours. And I was I uh, in the call with another IRL friend of ours and I heard Slayer in the background, who is the brother of an IRL friend of mine, uh talking and he said stuff about how he had uh like six or something shulker boxes of mine that were all that had string in them and started listing off stuff that was in my inventory and initially I had thought he had killed me uh and then stolen my stuff and uh so I hopped over to the other call and with him and uh, and was like what's going on like why do you have my stuff and he's like well a zombie killed you and so I I I came and grabbed it but like the only reason why I went over to your base in the first place was and obviously this isn't, this is the way I, I heard it. I did not actually like, I do not know verbatim, nor did I record any conversation with him. So do not take this out of context. This is purely just me remembering what I think the way I heard it come from him, which was, I was on my way to your base to kill you while you were AFK. So I can have your, your, your head because we have a, a head, data pack on the server and that didn't sit well with me because that that just didn't seem like that didn't seem fair I, I wasn't like at my like I wasn't actively watching Minecraft to to uh to be act, actually be able to pr protect myself and uh and everything so when he noticed that I was already dead he just grabbed my stuff and left I uh, and then this is that, and that's what started the whole argument. The whole, like, th everything that I had an issue with was because he took my stuff, and he wanted my head. And I understand he, like, I understand that. But you, you took my stuff when I died, like, I, I don't know. I, I have the understanding, and and Kata and uh, Slayer both had a v vastly different idea as to. Uh, as to what, what all like what could have transpired from from that whole uh, that whole event, because I uh, I went off the deep end and granted I, and I I I completely agree with Cod I did not handle the situation in a way that was okay, and this is my opportunity to just say that I I know I did something wrong, and the way I handled the situation was not right, but. At the same time, I should never have been put in the situation. I feel I should never have been put in the situation in the first place because on a multiplayer server that you are w that you are supposed to be working together to play the game and and 
and create visual art basically is what I was hoping to get from this server and that's what I wanted to do but uh, that was kind of nipped in the butt very very prematurely because of an argument that over whether or not I could uh, have the stuff that I had spent hundreds of hours grinding out uh, and and everything so basically he wanted my head in re in return or in to get my stuff back and I kind of went off the deep end because I did not feel I should have to give anything for the stuff that is rightfully mine. Dave uh, Kata, sorry, believes that it was because I died, my stuff was fair game. And unfortunately, on, on a multiplayer server, especially one that is supposed to be... I, is, is what I was hoping to get out of this. I wasn't looking for, for like, factions-based whatever. I, I don't know. Uh, but... It, it, I didn't feel that it should have ever come to the to the the discussion on whether or not my stuff is mine or if I had lost it because I died. And Slayer has the the, the belief that uh, that it, it that the I don't know he. I, I don't know what his belief is because he, he right now refuses to talk to me and won't do anything but insult me when we do talk because of comments I, I said about things. And then r right after he had talked to me, I turned around and redacted them. But yet I'm still the bad guy because I had said that he had taken my stuff and somebody else reacted said that he was kind of in, uh, a, a, a not nice person uh, for lack of a better term. Because the, the conversation used stronger language than that. And I was like, well, to be fair, he he took it and has already, has returned it. And I just didn't know because I didn't get on the server. Because I personally didn't feel like getting back on the server. Because I didn't have the stuff that I had spent hundreds of hours playing the game and grinding out. And so, like, I, I felt like it wasn't really a point for me to even continue playing Minecraft. Uh, if I was going to be just forced to, to, to do it because I didn't want to give somebody something that they had no right to in the first place. Like, it was never a discussed, a discussed thing. And some of the, some of this infighting started when, uh, when I had managed to take the Ender Dragon egg, uh, because Slayer had brought the stuff to remove the egg from the bedrock pillar, uh, in the center when uh, when we had beaten the Ender Dragon, which unfortunately I did not have the, f the footage. I thought it was a fun little meme back and forth, but he, I guess, took it way too seriously, and, and I guess all he wanted was, the, was the, the achievement. But the problem is, when I play nearly every day, and I'm on regularly after I get off work for probably four to six hours, and I'm the only one ever on the server... It's kind of hard to give somebody something to give them the achievement. And not only that, but I have no idea if I'm going to get it back because I had plans for said Ender Dragon Egg. So it, it, it kind of came down to like when he wanted the achievement and or my head. I, I'm not entirely certain of what his demands were for my stuff because I went off the deep end and told him that uh, I'm, I'm not about to... To, to play games like you are going to give me my stuff back or I'm just no longer going to allow you to play on my server. And that's where we get into the the comments that were made where I was a quote unquote a tyrannical server leader, uh, which is fine. I, I understand that was a little bit off the deep end. I and I'm not about to say that I, it wasn't. But at the same time, I don't feel like because at that point I felt that it was grief. He was griefing me by taking my stuff and preventing me from having it back. Uh, and then there's more off the deep end where I threatened to throw uh, to to blow up his house and this, that, and another. I had four pieces of TNT. There was no way I was going to blow up his house. I could put a pretty decent dent in it, but that's about it. Uh, so there's there's that. Obviously, they don't know how much I have. I could have probably made more TNT if I wanted to, but I didn't because, again, I had no actual intentions of blowing up anybody's house. I was more of just pissed that I didn't have my stuff. 
And then it came down to some other words back and forth. And I, I basically was like, this isn't a warning. This is a, you're going to give me my stuff back. No ifs, ands, or buts, or I will ban you from the server. Because this is, it. I felt that this was completely unnecessary. However, Kata says that it was a great opportunity to get uh, some collab, collab and content and create content for the server. But I wasn't going for like a dramatic, like, role play server that he was wanting i never really wanted to that's why i wanted to stay off on my own but i knew i needed to interact with other people so i, I was like okay well collab's a perfect person to interact with because i know he's not going to try and over go overboard with this role play bull crap and so and granted i went a little overboard i made an entirely new skin for for a a, a, a silly bit which i would have loved to continue but obviously because of my actions, I have driven the majority of the people on the SimpleCraft server uh, to no longer want to play on the server. If Even if they did want to play on the server, they wouldn't want to play with me, and that is fine. I don't care anymore. I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew the scenario, and yes, I, I do not fault anybody other than myself for this at this point, but at the same time, I do not care. I, I, I felt that I went to the lengths that I should have to to not have to sit there and grind out 200 hours worth of of levels and and netherite to to regather what I had not only that but go on another end busting raid uh that lasted 4 to 6 hours I don't remember exactly how long it took me to do all that to get shulker boxes and 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 elytra and also enchant all of that stuff and I just, I, I wasn't going to do it, and it it really forced me over the top because it I didn't feel, like like I said, I didn't feel it, it was necessary to do, to, to for the actions to have been done in the way they were. And I still firmly believe that the only reason why Slayer went to my house was to kill me, to take my head forcibly when I was AFK, which is not cool. Like, if you want somebody's head, you can request it or talk to them and, and try and like work out something to, to make it possible because he had killed me earlier in the season when all I was doing was messing around, which wasn't really a big deal. But at the same time, it was kind of annoying because it was touted as the first play PVP kill because I was sitting in a boat. He was shooting me. He hit the boat. He hit me and then dived into the water and came up and, and hit me with a, where all I was doing was going in circles in a boat. I really wish I had that that footage still because it it would have shown how like not at all malicious I was. And yes, the 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 detail that was overlooked, and I'm sure somebody who who sees this, whether it's Slayer or Kata, would say, "Oh, well, you were just trying to give you were trying to give Slayer's." Vi uh, coordinates out to somebody else and i'm like he lives on the fucking or on the yeah he lives on the freaking shore right out right right outside of of spawn like all you have to do is follow the shore and you find him that and like halfway through it i changed my mind and gave the person the wrong coordinates to him which it didn't matter because eventually we got nether portals linked up so now everybody can go straight to his house and not have to know anything about it other than how to find it in the nether. Okay, cool. So, you were worried about somebody getting uh, your coordinates because they wanted to be a potato, potato baron and uh, monopolize potatoes on the server. It's impossible to monopolize potatoes on the server because uh, zombies drop potatoes. So... I don't know. I it, it's just a lot of infighting that really was really annoying, and I I just need to find a find people who are uh, who are like minded when it comes to playing Minecraft and not like all about PvP and like I'm not necessarily not all about PvP. Like I do enjoy a little bit of PvP, but I don't really want to seek it out. Nor do I really want to have strife or have something like the this should never have happened, and. I don't like the fact that it did, nor do I like the fact that I reacted in the way I did. And if Slayer or Kata or anybody from the server is watching this by some stroke of luck, uh, I'm sorry. 
I it, like I, I, I there's not really anything else I can say uh, I I in all seriousness I, I don't think I would be able to, to say that I would do it and go about what happened in any different way because I still feel vi like I, I still feel like I was at the butt end of someone's joke and I don't see how this would have created content for the the server because the that that's not the kind of content that I wanted to create out of this server I wanted to to build cool things and I wanted to 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 have the multi like the multiplayer aspect be in the we have a trade district we have builds we have co co cooperative builds if I can learn to speak uh, and and things like that that we and we start building things that are massive and and bases that are linked up with with nether portal tunnels and uh, and underground rail systems and 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 whatever else we feel like doing and I just feel like that's no long that was never gonna be a thing that anybody wanted to do other than me and so the fact that I had this pipe dream that just I should have known was never gonna happen. Uh, from the beginning, but it is it is what it is at this point. Unfortunately, Simplecraft is going to be just no more. Uh, I will try and get with uh, Colab and see if we can figure something out to work on playing some more Minecraft. Uh, I don't know how we'll what we'll play if we'll like. I'm I'm not entirely certain. I really want to do a series that doesn't just go to the end and kill the Ender Dragon because we do that episode one every single time. I don't really want to do speed runs. Because I don't really find speedruns to be that fun. Just constantly doing the same thing. Starting the, the, the world over. And, and killing the Ender Dragon. And calling it quits. So. We may have something start back up. In the future. Uh, but as of right now. I have removed everything from. Uh, in, not everything from Simplecraft. There's still the, the server. Uh, files and everything like that. So if we do want to continue playing simple craft we might but as of right now it does not look like simple craft will be anymore and i do apologize to you guys who were enjoying the that content and for those of you who who feel i was in the wrong it, you have every right to think i was in the wrong i uh, i know i was in the wrong with some of my actions but at the same time i uh, there was the the other party was not was not a saint in this situation and I, I don't feel like anything was dealt with the right way. And the fact that it was blown way out of proportion by me did not help the situation progress in any way, shape, or form. But again, I don't feel like that's content that you guys wanted to see. If you guys wanted to see the, the banter back and forth between somebody who stole items from, from me and I didn't take it and blow it way out of proportion and... Uh, and everything then I, I I'm sorry I, I I squandered something that you guys may have wanted to see but if you guys don't didn't want to see it then that's fine I didn't think you guys did but that's just me thinking uh, I'm sure everybody can smell the smoke from where they're at sorry that was a stupid dig at myself but that is where I'm gonna call today's video I've been rambling on for about 20 minutes hopefully you guys do like this and and don't choose to to uh completely leave me in the high and dry on this one because yes i know i made a mistake and if somebody's watching i'm sorry i i know i made a mistake but at the same time i don't feel like i should have ever been put in that situation uh to have had my stuff taken and held hostage for something and in terms of the advancement, I'm sorry, you were never on. So you can't get mad at me for not giving you the advancement. Sorry. But until the next time, guys, I will see you guys hopefully in a new stream. I have been trying to stream a little bit more frequently, uh, playing some Pokemon, possibly some Blue and Towers events. So stay tuned, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, guys, don't forget to stay risky. Bye-bye!